this is oh no Empire of Dreams it's a fun little Game Boy Advance game and uh, once again I have new software for recording and I just want to test it out for uh, Chef Russian's cooking blog and uh, I really got into this game about two weeks ago because I never never had a Game Boy of any type growing up and this is Game Boy Advance and I've, I've missed the train on everything Game Boy Advance so when my friend gave me one and then gave me this game about two and a half weeks ago I just I fell in love with this game so much it's so cute these are called moos it's a moo hi moo a moo will hurt you if they touch you no see you have three hearts you use moos which you can do to the moo. After you pick it up, you can throw the moo. Another one pops out of a dimension. Or you can jump, jump again. So this game has double jumps that actually work, and I love it in this game. Yeah, I, <laughs> I beat this game, and I don't know. The first time I played it, I beat the game in about three days. And then the second time I played it, I beat it in about, I don't know, an hour? <laughs> Maybe a little bit more than an hour? I don't remember how many stages there are in each world, but there's like, I don't know, eight or nine? There's bonus stages you can go to. And then there's a boss stage, and there's about five worlds. And each stage takes me about two to three minutes, sometimes less. So, I don't know. I'm trying to do the math, but I can't think right now. I'm too not caring to think right now. I don't know. Two, set three... So like 18 minutes a world times five. The coins are uh, extra lives. You can get up to 99, and only 99. It doesn't go higher. It's kind of unsatisfying because you're like they have them there, and you want to collect them. It's just a habit to collect them. But it caps off at 99. You don't need them, but you really want. Them. You guys are gonna hear me just mention how cute this game is every once in a while because I love this game. I love the music in it. I love platformers. Excuse me. I love platformers and I love just 2D games. I love 3D games, but I really I grew up with this type of games. I will take a platformer game over a FPS game, a first person shooter game any day. If you ask me, do you want to play Klonoa or do you want to play Overwatch? I'll be like, Klonoa, Klonoa 2, Klonoa, all of them. Although I have heard, I like I said, I never knew about these games. I have heard that Klonoa was uh, made for the Wii. There's a Wii game of this. And I want to play it. I don't know the Wii anymore, but I really want to play it. The character is so cute. If you hold the jump button, you can float, by the way. It's so cute, and you have a little buddy. He helps you out. It's kind of like uh, what they did with Mario Galaxy, where you have the star underneath your hat. And the star like, gives you powers and helps you out. That's what the little dude does here. Which you would have known if I didn't pass by the entire start of this. I have a move.
Why you can walk forward, I have no idea. It doesn't do anything. If you press the down button, you walk forward. It, it does nothing. I guess it's just, it's cute. If you hold the up button, you walk towards the, the background, and that's how you go through doors. Fine, I understand that. Cool, but why can you walk towards the screen? Why can you walk forward? That's a bonus stage. Or like a bonus area. There's two in each stage. And you have to beat all of them to unlock an extra secret area. If you get all of the gems uh, at the end of the game, in each area you unlock two other extra stages. Which are really hard and really fun to try to speedrun. See, I'm already, I'm already messing up already. I'm not a Let's Player, and I don't claim to be. But, uh, and I love watching people Let's Play. Like games I've never played before, or games that I can't afford to play. And I am starting to understand <laughs> when watching them how they can mess up the easiest things because I've played this so many times in the past couple weeks where I can do everything flawlessly but for some reason talking and pressing buttons my mind's like I don't know how to do those two things at the same time I don't know I never I never thought about it but I am a silent gamer on my own time, when I play video games, I go silent. So, doing this for the recording is just, I don't know, I'm not making excuses. I'm not claiming to be a really good gamer. I'm just testing out my audio system. Because, uh, I got updates. <laughs> been a while, but I finally got updates for it. I shouldn't complain. The software was free. The hardware was free. And, uh, I got a lot of love. So, thank you to the people that, that gave it to me. I'm gonna try not complaining as much now. So, if I sound distant, it's because I, I took the headset off and I put it on top of the computer because I breathe out of my nose a lot. So the last couple of recordings here, and it just sounded really, really bad. It just, it sounded so bad. I'm not even sure how this sounds right now. I haven't stopped the recording to look at it. And honestly, playing this game, I really don't want to stop the recording just yet. Look at how fat he is. So cute. You can squish him too. Oh yeah, that's what I love. Oh, that's what I love about this game. Ah! Is that you can squish squash him. In certain areas you have to do it to get to get by. If you mess up, you're just like you're stuck. You're like, I don't understand why I can't do it. Like right here. You're like, I can't go forward because he doesn't squish through. So, there's some areas where you have to grab them quick and jump under, and get them stuck under so you can move forward, otherwise you can't move. And they're totally cool with it, you can squish, squash, and move, they're, they're called moves, M-O-O. -O. Squish, squash, and move, it's like, you're to live and I don't care. If they're alive, I'm not, I don't know what they are. What are you, move? You a move? Yeah. Yeah. No. Bad touch. Oh god, I love this music. There's not many video games where I actually enjoy the music in the background at all. Except for well, this. Chrono Trigger. Some Mario games. So yeah, no, there's not many, not many I can think of. Zelda. Every Zelda game, I love. I even have a anniversary CD. I don't buy CDs anymore, people. 
You don't buy CDs at all. I haven't bought a CD since 1998, 1997, 20 years ago. So, anyway, it's uh, if you love puzzles and if you love cute. It's a very relaxing little puzzle game. Ba -da -ba -dum -dum. So there we go.